going on YouTube man shot by leak in the building man today I got a jump shot video for all my six seven popper builds on 2k25 you feel me like people been saying that you can't shoot but I think you can shoot bro if you just time your jump shot and you practice on your jump shot I think you can shoot because all the top youtubers trying to say that oh you can't shoot it's hard to shoot in the game I don't think it's that hard you just gotta practice now they just be putting on goddamn jump shots and just running the park and just think they finna time the jump shot every time like no you gotta sit there and practice your jump shot play my career games you know what i'm saying you just gotta practice your shot all right so to make the shooting easier i would suggest everybody to play like 10 my career games put that thing on rookie and do five minute quarters so you whenever you shoot and take your shit off you know how it'd be like high risk reward or low risk or whatever it'd be saying put that jay on difficulty base so you can make sure that even if you don't time your jump shot your shot still go in you do not have to run high risk reward in my career it's like no point you not really nothing really is going to happen so it's no point of even running that and so while you're in your 10 games of your my career just shoot all the way around the court and just try to get your hot zones i think it should take like 10 games for real for real because when i was trying to grind a goat quest that's where i got like all my high spots and i only really played like 12 games in one season and i had my high spots but make sure you get your high zones so it can be easier for y'all to shoot the ball because most of the time it's all these youtubers and stuff they do not have no high zones and they wondering why they missing for real so make sure you go get your high zones so it can make it easier for you another key thing y'all gonna need to get is make sure that y'all have jump shot boost with y'all players you know what i'm saying make sure you got the jump shot boost just to give you a little boost a little extra boost on the shot because when i be playing with no boost boy goddamn, i feel like i'm 50 every shot but make sure you put on boost so it can help your jump shot now the gatorade turbo boost y'all can get that but right now I ain't really got no VC. Like, I got 13K, so I can't really buy no boost right now. So, I do got to go grind some my career games. Yeah, so make sure you have jump shot boost also. And make sure you have your hot zones. Now, make sure that for your shot timing on your my career, make sure it's difficulty based. I left my zone because I ain't going to lie to you. I like, I like when my white's going. Like, even if my missed time, I shot in park. I know with this difficulty base, I still have a slight chance of me shooting white. So like, why not? You know what I'm saying? But that's me though. That's me. You don't have to do that because some of those YouTubers, they be like high risk reward. That means your jump shot window will be bigger. But like, bro, to be honest with you, bro, that means that you have to green every single shot. And if you do a slightly late or a slightly early on high risk reward, you're bricking. You're not getting those shots to go in. So I ain't gonna say I'm an expert shooter, but I know I'm not. I know me, I'm not gonna go eight for eight every single time with my jump shot. So I'm putting that gen on difficulty base. So if I do miss time my jump shot, it still can go in. You know what I'm saying? And then for your shot time and cue, me personally, I use release because I can't really like time no fast jump shots. You know what I'm saying? The fact that like the jump set point, I can't time it. I can't time it. So I put on release. So you see where it says prefer animation cue to release the button during the jump shot. Yeah, so I know I can time the release, but you need to find whichever time is better for you. I know some people like the very quick jump shots and all of that. So y'all can pick whichever one. Pick something that you're going to be comfortable with. You know what I'm saying? Pick that. All right. And this one right here, this is going to be the shot right here. But lower base, Jalen Tyson second upper release Sadiq Bay Sadiq Bay Luke Kennard to be honest I don't really know none of the players I don't know I don't know them they might be hooping in real life I don't know and then for the blending and stuff I got my Jane all the way to release cuz I be I like release bro I don't know I can't time fast as jump shots so I put my Jane on release release speed is a little like almost to the end and then animation blending I went 48 52 percent and that's it you feel me that's gonna be it and then i'm gonna just show you some gameplay of me shooting with the rock and that's gonna be it all right so now that y'all got y'all boost and you feel me and you got your jump shot now now y'all should be ah this slightly late hold on come on let me get in my bag that's green come on that's green come on i'm telling you bro once you get in your boost 
and then you got your hot zones bro it's gonna be a lot more easier to shoot on 2k green come on practice and i'm gonna get even better man but that's gonna be it for the video make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and i'll catch y'all in the next one peace